spark up a bowl and tuck yourselves in. Once upon a time is about to begin. We're, I don't even know how we got there, but yes, we're in space. Uh, and we're going to tell you the eagle, the cat, and the sow. The wild sow. Okay, so once upon a time, boom, there was this huge, enormous tree in this great big forest. And the very top of this tree was a big, huge bird's nest, and it was an eagle that lived in it. And then if an you go eagle to, and her babies. And then you look in the middle, and then there's in a hole in the middle of the tree. There's a cat and her babies. And then at the base of the tree, in the in the trunk of the tree, <coughs> the sow and her little ones. There's like a, a cave, like Princess Bride. Pit of despair. And the pig's house was wasn't that cool, but it was in the area. Okay, so, so we've established a tree with three families inside this tree. We need some names. So Alice the Eagle, Kate. Katie the Cat, Ooh, yeah. Sarah the Sow. It's a weird mix of animals. But it worked. Li- living together. And everything would have been just awesome. Would have been fine and dandy. But the cat had to be... Cat's a cunning cat. And it, let it be known that cats are... D- cat wants to destroy this weird situation that is in the tree yep he's like the eagle the sow so he's gonna go uh and he he has a plan make some trouble and he goes to the eagle and cat climbs up to the eagle's nest knocks on the trunk and he acts all scared and he says hey alice uh hey katie (laughs) what's up just thought you should know that stupid Sarah the sow down there, she's gonna uproot our tree. You see down her digging down there? She's, yeah. She's, yeah. yeah, she's gonna kill us. She and then to, she's gonna eat us. She likes to dig out in the pastures and she, she tears up the earth. She was probably just making her mud bath. The eagle is now terrified. Alice is like, oh, shit. that's, I knew something was up with Sarah. She just seemed like a dirty pig. <laughs> She better well, not do that, because it's not like I can just fly away. <laughs> better not do that, because I'm just... You're, good point. I could just fly away. <laughs> but I guess the babies. Maybe the babies weren't... Maybe they're not old enough to fly. Or yet. maybe they're eggs. Who knows? Maybe they were still in Oh, the, yeah, in, maybe. Uh, mission number one complete. Mission, on to mm-hmm. mission number two. This cunning cat, Kate. Who is a So, Kate... Like, all right, now it's time to go talk to Sarah. And she goes over and talks to Sarah, and she was like, acting like she's scared, saying that. I want you to let you know that Alice said that she's going to fly up there and scout and search, and she's going to eat one of your babies. When you go out looking for food, it's going to happen. Alice is going to be on your Alice is looking for some bacon and knows that them little fat, chunky little kids ears you're gonna taste delicious and then kate the cat was went back home to go see her babies and she pretended to be scared yeah just she, for both of them yeah so she wouldn't come out if it was daytime she would go off at night to to get food and stuff and when she during the day she then. just wouldn't come out so and, but the pig was so scared and so was the, the, the eagle. eagle that they both ended up starving to death. And then the cat it was able to eat the pigs and the babies <laughs> and the eagles and the babies. And then they had the tree out of themselves. And they probably, like, a lot of families could live in that, in that tree. But yeah, cat ruled the day. That was it. The end.